A few more notes on remote access with uh, Subversion. In the previous example, we have seen uh, how to use the file scheme in the URL syntax in order to access a repository on the local file system. You can also use HTTP or HTTPS if someone has set up the subversion, the subversion extension for the Apache server. Uh, you can also run a subversion server directly that comes with a subversion distribution. Then the URL starts with SVN. But I believe by far the most popular way of using uh, subversion is tunneled on top of SSH. And there you use the SVN protocol inside the standard input, standard output tunnel that SecureShell um, offers. And in order to set up a repository like this, all you need is an existing server where you can SSH into. And then um, you add your public key there to your tilde.ssh authorized keys file. And then a command like svn ls or list uh, and that URL will open an SSH connection uh, to this user on this machine. We'll start there the command user bin svn serve minus t in tunnel mode, which means the svn server now speaks the svn protocol via standard input, standard output, and then via that tunnel the svn transactions and queries will be executed. The ease of setting up your own uh, SVN plus SSH server this way uh, by basically just SSHing into a server makes it very tempting to share that access with other team members to grant them access to your repository. But remember, if you add their public key to your authorized keys file, they will be able to not only SVN plus SSH into it, they will also be able to get direct shell access to your uh, uh, entire account on that machine. And that may not be what you actually want. Uh, you may be able to trust them to make subversion commits where they can't really do any damage because they can just, they have only, append only write rights to the repository. Uh, so you can see what they do and you can undo it later on, uh, but they may create some havoc otherwise in your shell directories, uh, which you may not want. Um, fortunately, OpenSSH allows you to restrict what access someone else's public key has in the syntax that's on offer in the authorized key file. In particular, you can uh, prefix a key in authorized keys with a command attribute, and then only this command will be executed and not the shell. And this way you can allow someone access to your account, but not grant them shell access. Instead, they only can talk uh, with the SVN surf process that runs with your user ID. You can further restrict what they can do with some command line options that SVN surf offers. So here I have a collaborator, GSM10, and uh, this is the key that GSM10 uh, sent me and if GSM10 logs into uh, my machine as me using this key, uh, then uh, the they will talk to the uh, SVN surf command in tunnel mode. And I've told the SVN surf command already that the user that should be recorded in the repository log files is GSM10. So I will not accept any other user ID via the SVN protocol. Uh, this way, the, I've passed on the authentication information that I received through the fact that uh, this user obviously has the uh, secret key of GSM10 into my log files. Likewise, with minus R, I can restrict to uh, which subdirectory uh, that user has access to. So here I restrict them to only have access to this one SVN repository. I can also give a directory that contains multiple SVN repository if that's preferred. 
And here with these additional commands, I'm switching off a couple of facilities, namely port forwarding, agent forwarding, X protocol forwarding, and the ability to run interactive sessions that aren't needed for this. So this is just a defense in depth that nobody abuses any of the other facilities beyond forwarding standard input, standard output, standard error that Subversion uh, gives me here. And this way I can uh, grant quite secure access to other users, to repositories within my account. But if you are using a university administered machine, you may want to consult with your system administrator first, uh, whether it's okay that you allow other people to use their account, whether they trust uh, this security mechanism, but it's in generally considered quite strong. 